What a what a battle we had at the MGM National Harbor from oh. Oxon Hill, Maryland. Sergey Lipinet sends mm. Lamont Peterson into retirement, stopping him in ten rounds. Mario, early candidate for fight of the year in 2019. Yes. Oh, this is my kind of fight. This is my kind of fight. You know, I love me some inside fighting, and I, this was trench warfare. I love it. I love. It. That's how I love to fight. That's how I thought I love watching fights. And there's such a. I think it's so underrated the nuances and the skill level. Yeah. And it takes a real craft to be slick in there and to break it down. Peterson, I've always liked him too. He's like a hard worker. Um, blue so collar. Blue collar, seems like a good guy, puts in a decent effort, has a beautiful hook to the body, yeah. very Mexican style with that hook to the liver, and he was winging it, and it was working for him. And it looked like he might be a little bit too big for Lipinets er, uh, early on, but Lipinets, what a tough guy, man. What a tough guy, because he was taking some shots, but every time he was catching that, that hook, he would answer with that right, too, and he just kept weathering the storm and putting pressure, putting pressure, and slowly ended up systematically breaking him down. And took, and Peterson ended up taking some big shots, came up, and I thought his corner... Barry Hunter. Barry Good Hunter call did with the towel. excellent call with the, with the towel, but what an impressive victory with Lipinets. And, the, and this is now with the Mikey Garcia fight, and this Lipinets is really... Oh, he's solid. Pretty, he's solid, and he's getting some buzz, but yes, I think a contender so far. That was a fun, fun fight. And the fact that he retired at the end of it, and the and it was in his hometown. That was poignant it, that it, it announced was. It, it made it, a, it was. It made it a special evening. You know, Sergey Lipinets. I thought first six, seven rounds, Peterson was beating him to the punch. He looked a little bit quicker. Right. But from the seventh, and especially the eighth, the tie turned. Yes. And I thought Father Time favored Sergey Lipinets. It was almost like, oh, it, it, like in the middle of the fight, you yeah. saw him get old, mm. or just, or just Lipinets, just a tough customer. Those kind of guys, you got to be in your prime and really, really. Uh, sharp to face. Look, I don't know if Sergey Lipinets can battle Errol Spence or Terence Crawford. Those two guys, we've made it clear, at a certain echelon, echelon right. a cut above. But everyone else at 47, Sergey Lipinets is now adjusted to 47. He's with Joe Goosen, who seems to be a very good stylistic fit. Mm -hmm. When you face him, you better pack your lunch and your hard hat. It's 36 a, minutes of hard work. You're going to be in a fight. That's exactly There's no easy out with that kid. You're going to be in a fight. And also, Lamont Peterson, um, look, he's always had to me, a really a solid career. I didn't like the way the last three, four years of his career were handled under the PBC banner where he wouldn't fight for over a year. I've always enjoyed him. Mm -hmm. And again, I think it's the right time because the way he was getting hurt at the end of that fight. Right. And I just said, you know what? I don't know where you're going at this point. And I hope he saved his money. He's had a great story about homelessness, him and his brother. To use boxing to make something better of their lives is a great story. So I want to wish Lamont Peterson well. Very, very good fighter who had a very good career. Yeah.